Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I am going to do one palette two looks on the new uh, Colourpop <laughs> Disney collection, the Midnight Masquerade palette. So this is how it looks. I already have a first impression and swatches on this one. Let's go into this video. This is look number two, so let's go into look number one. So now for this first look with the Midnight Masquerade palette, I am going to do like a pinky berry look, I think, with the cut crease. And I'm going to start off with this Enchanted, this one. And I'm just placing it here in the crease. This is a beautiful like pinky coral shade and I love these kinds of shades. This is beautiful. So I'm just packing it and blending it, packing it and blending it. Now I'm going to deepen up the look with this shade. Oh my god, I don't think you can see because this is so reflectable. Uh, so this is a nutmeg and I'm just placing it a little bit lower this time just to deepen this up a little bit. But I, I do want this beautiful like corally pinky shade to not to disappear <laughs> so I try not to take it that far up but I'm going to add some more of that lightest shade as well I'm taking that enchanted again the lightest shade and I'm just blending these together a little bit And now I'm going to take this Gaston, or maybe I should take, no, I'm going to take the new Dream, this one. This looks a little more like purple undertone, like a pink with a little bit of purple undertone. And I'm just going to place it here in my outer part. And then I'm going to work that into the crease as well. very low. I do want something more deep and hmm, I'm going to try this Gaston now. Maybe this one or maybe the brown one. That one is darker though. But I'm going to take the Gaston and just see here how this layers. Maybe I just want this one in the outer part, in the outer V. So now I'm going to cut the crease and I'll be right back. So now I cut the crease and now I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to take this and shunt it again. And I'm just going to define the line above the cut crease just so we can really see the cut crease even better. So now I think I want to go in with a shimmer and I'm going to take this spinning wheel. Uh, so this is kind of a duochrome. It looks white here but it has a pink shift and I thought that would look good. So I'm going to take this. This is a little more dry. I'm going to spray this uh, with some fixing spray and just apply it. anything but it has like a pink shift but it's not really like shimmery I think it's more like it just gives a little a little something extra but nothing spectacular about this shade I would prefer if it was more foiled or more shimmery but this is the shade. 
Maybe I'm going to take my finger now and just see if it's any better to apply. Yeah, I think if you if you use your finger it will be better. Well, I think I'm going to take this Jolly, Jolly, this one, and I'm also going to spray that. This is a beautiful shimmer shade because this is like a pinky peachy gold shade and I like that. And I'm just tapping it here so they blend together. Now I'm taking a small fluffy brush and I'm going to take this Gaston color and just add some in my outer part right here and blend it into this shimmer. So yeah, now we're going to do the lower lash line or do we need some glitter today? Do we want that? Maybe not. I don't know. We have this glitter, this um, floating lantern, this floating lantern, this one. Hmm. I'm not that happy with glitter. I'm just going to save it and see if I want to use it in the end of this eye look. Uh, when I'm finished but I'm going to do the lower lash line now so I'm just going to smoke out with the Enchanted uh, that was the lightest color uh, and I'm going to take some yellow like the yellow gold underneath as well but I'm just going to smoke this out underneath here just like two-third of my lower lash line and then I'm taking the Gaston color on this flat brush and just placing it closest to my little lash line. Just to define it. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm going to spray this color, but this is the Miss Potts. This is the gold yellowy shade. I'm going to take that on my inner part on my little lash line. And I'm going to spray it. I hate the smell of this. This is the new Sherry Truffle Fixing Spray. And this is the, yeah, the Revolution one. Can't stand the smell, but <laughs> really needed to spray my brushes or the shimmers because I have to use it up now. But it's horrible. Oh, this is pretty. Just to have a little gold, yellow underneath. I really like that. It goes very well with this very pinky look. So I'm just placing it here and I'm just dragging it towards um, the berries I have underneath. I have some new lights here as well. I have like two softbox now. Before I had this one softbox and one ring light. Now I just, now I have like one softbox here, one softbox here and my ring light in front of me. So if you see something like, this is the first video I have this uh, uh, set up with my new light. So I don't know how this is going to look. <laughs> Hopefully it looks better. <laughs> That's what I am uh, trying to accomplish here. So we will see. I don't know what I want in my inner corner. I don't want, I'm gonna add something else, not from this palette though, because this, this and this is the lightest, uh, like inner corner highlights, but this has a green tint to it and I don't want green in this look. And this one I have like in my inner part and it's not that sparkly. Uh, so I actually going to take something else here. Hmm. Maybe I want, because I have this one in front of me, this uh -huh Honey palette, uh, because I need the mirror when I do my makeup. So I have it now when I, and I was looking at this Sunburst, this one. So this is like a very light shimmery yellow and I kind of like that. So I'm going to take that one actually in my inner corner. So I hope you don't mind, but well, I decide that. 
but sometimes you just want something else uh, like for now for instance oh my god this is so beautiful like look at that mm. yeah I love it <laughs> Now I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm not going to add some glitter, guys. I am not a fan of glitters in this one, but in my second look, I'm going to use this one. And this one is so, so pretty. I really like this glitter. I can actually consider to use this more for like a New Year's, uh, for New Year's Eve or something that I wanna have some glitter. I'm definitely going to reach for this one because that one was absolutely amazing. Uh, but I'm not going to use this one today. Sorry guys, but yeah, uh, I think this is the finished eye look. I'm going to take something in my waterline, uh, put some lashes, mascara and all that and we can do the lips when I come back. So now I'm back and now I'm going to put something on my lips. I'm going to put this Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in November because it's a beautiful pinky shade. So I put something in my waterline as well. I put a yellow liner. This is from Linda Hallberg uh, in Happy Mood. And I really love this. <laughs> so yeah, guys, and now I'm going to give you a close up. So this was a look number one. So let's go into look number two. So for this look with the Midnight Masquerade palette, I am going to play with this blue shadow right here. So this is the Merry Weather. And then I thought I would take this Frog and Wife, this beautiful green shimmer. And then I want to try this glitter. Uh, so this is the Royal Ball. Uh, and this is like an iridescent uh, shift to it and it has like a bit chunky bits in it but also very very small uh, glitter specks in it so yeah I am just going to start with this one and I also have to do this with my wig because this hair is crazy so let's start I thought I would do like a kind of a simple look here um I'm just pressing this in this blue shade just like that so I get a lot of pigments and then I start to blend it out and I'm actually going to take it a little more into the crease just very careful as I go Now I'm going to take a damsel, that color, and this is like a mauve pink one. I'm just going to blend it a little bit here. I am going to take, hmm, maybe I should take Gaston, just that color. It's just a raspberry red. Maybe I just want this to be ooh, a little more purpley. So I'm just deepening it up with this one a little bit like that. And now it looks like this. And now I'm going in with the frog and, let me see, frog and wife. <laughs> this one. And in top of that later on I'm going to take that glitter so we're gonna see how this looks I'm going to spray it that is a pretty shade I hope you can see and in the very inner part I think I'm going to take the lightest shade so I'm just 
placing it here and just like tapping it like when I reach the other part just tapping it like this this is beautiful I don't know about these settings in the camera because it feels like this is very warm like the white balance I haven't figured that out yet how I am supposed to have the setting on this camera <laughs> but well we'll see now I'm taking that blue mat again I'm just tapping this a little bit here Just a little bit in that other part. Now I'm taking this Mama Odie, and this is a dual chrome. This shifts in this mermaidy aqua green color, so I thought that will look good with the green. And I'm also spraying that. Yeah, super beautiful color. I'm going to have that in my inner corner as well. You can definitely see it on the brush. I don't know if you can see, but it shifts in green. I think I'm going to do the little lash line now because we're going in with that glitter and then we don't want to do anything else. Uh, so I'm going in with this brush right here. This is the Sigma E20. I'm going in with that matte blue. That was the Meriwether. And I'm placing it like here in the outer part and working my way into the middle, but I'm just placing this two thirds of my lower lash line. I'm taking Gaston and I'm just smoking it out a little bit here. Now I'm taking the frog and wife and I'm placing it here like in one third of my lower lash line. I'm kind of blending it into that blue and then I'm going in with that Mama Odi again. That was the lightest shade, the duochrome and I'm just popping it in my inner corner. Now you actually can see the green tint to it. I think you can anyway. I can see it very clear. Like this is very, very green. Super beautiful. Now I'm going to take my glitter glue. So I'm just placing this here. Because now we're going in with that glitter and that is a chunky glitter. So. We really need something that it's that the glitter is gonna stick to. So now I'm going in with this royal ball, and this is kind of very beautiful. No, I think I have to use my finger with this, but it is a very beautiful glitter. So I think it's going to look good. I hope so anyway. So, oh yes. I like this because this has like this has I don't know if you can see but it has like a bits of it has a bit of chunky glitter but also very small 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 glitter specks and that actually looks really really nice look at that I really like it hmm. maybe I'm going to like glitters I don't know Maybe this glitter. <laughs> Let me see here. So, just doing the same here on this, and it's very beautiful with this green underneath. It really, really works. This is a glitter you can have like on New Year's Eve because I get that like it gets really really sparkly. Soup. 
super beautiful. So I think this is the finished look. I'm going to put something in my waterline. I'm gonna put some liner, mascara, lashes and all that and I will come back with the finished look. So now I'm back with the finished look and here comes your close up. So guys, this was the finished look. This was look number two and I really like this look. Uh, it feels like I am a mermaid, like a Disney mermaid in this makeup and I really like the glitter. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this one palette, two looks on this palette. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, then I know you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click on the notification bell, then you know when I upload a new video and that is Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, guys.